Top Aces went hunting up in southern Oklahoma with Ranch Top 1833, and for those of you that don't want to wait until the ending, here's the short version. Three, two, one. There you go. I showed up, and he took me on a tour of a property that had a tremendous amount of rooting damage. The more he showed me, the more that we saw, and the more extensive that it was. It was all over this field. We've been hunting for about five okay, hours, waiting for the hogs point. to show up. Can we shoot them? I'm not oh. asking to pull the trigger now, but is that our property? Yes, but the house is behind where you're at. Oh, okay. I thought it was further to the right. So here he's instructing me on a safe shooting direction. We need to move to the left in order to shoot back towards the right, in order to have a safe field of fire. And we moved several times. He estimated about 200 yards or so. And I'm going to guess we moved seven or eight times. We had continuous problems with various obstructions. There's even a little ridge that's between us and the hogs. There's actually a low point with a small pond there. And so we're moving closer in order to get a better view down into that area. We've got cattle continually moving through our area. It's a lot of brush. We've got brush in the way. Let's go for the close ones. And the pigs are on the move as well. We decide how to get lined up, who's going to take what pig. Can you see the one on the left, the big fat one? Yep. That one. You, you take the big fat one, I'll take the one on the right. Okay. Oh, hold on. We have a great plan, and then his hog moves yep. behind the trees. Okay. So they move again. Yep. Oh, nope, mine's behind the tree. Mine's behind the tree. And the dance continues. Hold on. You stay on the big fat one. Okay. I got a butt. So I'm using custom reloads of Dallas. Nossler of Armageddon Ammunition and an Iron Hunter Mark III Thermal Scope. And my partner's using Hornady SST 120 grain ammo with the Pulsar Trail XQ38 Thermal Sight. I'll post a link to his video at the end of mine. You got the bore? Wind's not a problem for us. We're just getting set up to shoot here. We cannot pan to the left because of the house and barn off to the left. So, hogs going to the right or towards the back, we're good to go. Three, two, one. Both hogs go down. We did find a good blood trail going into the woods, but we're unable to recover the hogs. In the opening salvo, Ranch Top dropped a 140-pound sow that had farrowed previously, and I dropped a 158-pound boar. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery Carpe sus, my friends.